Are you observing a class that's delivered primarily through Blackboard Learn? This video will provide you with a few tips to help you navigate courses to complete an online peer observation. Please note, this video shouldn't replace a pre-observation conversation that you have with your colleague being observed. That will be the best way for you to get a sense of their goals for this observation, get an orientation to their course, and learn about which aspects of the course the instructor would most like feedback. If you aren't sure what happens in a pre-observation conversation, please see our video on formative peer observation. What we will show you in this video are some common locations for the materials and tools that you are likely going to look for when completing an online observation. These are common practices, but the instructor you're observing may have important reasons for deviating from this practice. If you can't find something, talk to the instructor you are observing for more guidance. You'll often find the syllabus on the first page you land on when opening the course, in the left-hand navigation, or in a Start Here module. Since these materials are used to orient students to how they will be successful in a course, they are a great place for you to get a sense of the tone, scope, and overall approach of a course. This is also a good place to re-familiarize yourself with the instructor's course learning outcomes. Many courses are arranged in modules or folders based on the weeks or topics that will be covered in a chronological order. As you click into one of these modules, try to get a sense of how a student would navigate the instructional material there to be successful in a course. Are there module overviews, weekly videos, or checklists to help a student stay on track? What kind of context is provided for any posted content? How are students guided through assessments? In many online courses, students are expected to participate in weekly assessments that help them gauge their understanding and help instructors understand student progress. In a module or unit folder, you might find discussion boards, quizzes, journals, or assignments asking for uploaded material. You can click into these assessments to take a look at the prompts and or the corresponding rubric that students see when completing the work. If you'd like to see all the assignments in a course at once, you can also switch to Student View and navigate to My Grades to see a list of all assignments and any corresponding rubrics. Once you are done with Student View, don't forget to switch back to Instructor View. Thank you for taking the time to observe your colleague. Once again, please start your observation process with a pre-observation meeting. This will help orient you to the course and provide context for your observations, making the observation more useful for you and the colleague you are observing. The Center for Teaching and Learning also provides a peer observation guide to help facilitate your conversation.